Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. In our last episode, Cecil was stranded on a new continent after Leviathan's attack. Rydia, Edward, and Yang were nowhere to be found, so Cecil headed east to the village of Mesidia alone. Too bad for Cecil though, because Mesidia is the village he attacked while serving as captain of the Red Wings. After being treated poorly by the mages of the village, the town elder was willing to listen to Cecil's story. The elder advised Cecil the only way he would be able to defeat true evil is by renouncing his dark sword and becoming a paladin on Mount Ordeals. The elder then ordered two young mages named Palum and Porum to assist Cecil on his journey to the mountain. So it's going to be nice having the aid of the twins. Palum can use black magic and Porum can use white magic. And we actually need to go buy some equipment for both of those twins, but before we do, let's chat with a couple of the mages here. This black mage says, a paladin is the antithesis of a dark knight. And that basically just means that a dark knight is the complete opposite of a paladin in every single way. This black mage says, you will receive my trust once you become a paladin. Oh, okay. Well, maybe Cecil can gain the trust of a few of the mages here if he actually does manage to become a paladin. And this white mage says, You must go and test yourself to see if you are worthy to receive the holy light. So it looks like this journey to Mount Ordeals is a test. And only a test. Well, let's see if uh, the mages have anything new to say here. If we can actually catch one of them. Ah, this white mage tells us that Mount Ordeals lies to the east, so it looks like we're going to have to head east of Mesidia in order to get there. And this white mage says many have traveled to Mount Ordeals to receive the holy light, but none are ever seen again. Wow, maybe a pretty dangerous place. Lots of tough monsters there. And this is the white mage that was scared of Cecil before, but this time she just kind of scoffs at him. You want to become a paladin? Surely you jest! Well, we'll show you. And I think this might have been the black mage that turned us into a toad last time. He's also scoffing at Cecil now. You become a paladin? Ha! <laughs> yeah, doesn't seem like the villagers have much faith in Cecil, knowing his past deeds. Okay, well here's the weapon and armor shop in the southwestern corner of the town. Let's visit the weapon shop first, see what they have for sale. You can purchase an ice rod, a flame rod, a healing staff. Ooh, that could come in handy. There's a crossbow for sale, and you can also purchase holy arrows for sale here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is purchase one flame rod for Palum, and I'm going to purchase a healing staff for Porum. Now, the healing staff is infused with the power to heal, meaning when you use it as an item in battle, you can cure all party members with it. So that's going to be handy. Let's go ahead and equip the flame rod on Palum first. I will take his attack power up four points. And let me scroll down here to Porum. She's right-handed. And let's put the healing staff on her. Take her power up four points there too. All right, there's the weapon shop. Let's go over to the armor shop now next door. And we've got another fast-moving black mage here. He says you can't use most of the armor here unless you are a paladin. There's nothing here for you. Hmm, so some of the wares here are actually for paladins only. So let's take a look and see. Now, first things first, you can purchase wizards, hats, Gaia gear, and silver armlets. And it uh, looks like the wizard hats are 700 gil apiece. So I'm going to purchase two of those. And I'm going to purchase two Gaia Gears and two Silver Armlets. Let's go ahead and equip that on the twins. We'll replace the old feathered cap. You can see the uh, wizard's hats are caps made from special thread. That will take uh, both Palum and Porum's defensive and magic defensive power up a little bit. There's the Gaia Gear and there's the Silver Armlets. Now the silver armlet is resistant against ghoul attacks. Real quick, let's go ahead and put that same equipment on Porum here. The Gaia gear actually prevent gradual petrification. Alright, well that could come in handy. 
So we've got all new equipment on the twins. Now let's also check out that Paladin equipment. You can purchase a light shield, a light helm, a knight's armor, and gauntlets. And those are all resistant against undead attacks. And I think I heard a rumor that there's lots of undead on Mount Ordeals. So I'm going to play this like I'm going to have faith in Cecil that he'll actually become a paladin. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase some of that equipment. I'm going to purchase everything but the knight's armor. Now I have 900 gil left and I need 7100 gil in order to get that uh, last uh, piece of armor, the knight's armor. So what I'm actually going to do is go outside and grind with Paladin Porum a little bit and once I have enough gil to purchase the knight's armor, I'll meet you back here in the armor shop. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I've spent a little bit of time grinding with Palom and Porum just outside of Mesidia. The twins are now level 12, and Palom actually learned some new black magic spells. He can now use the Blazara and the Fira spells, which are tier 2 ice and fire spells respectively, so those are going to be very handy to have. Porum also learned the life and the protect spells, and Cecil's still hanging in there at level 18. He didn't level up. Now what I actually did is I went outside and fought a lot of big black bird creatures called zoos. You can fight those just outside of Mesidia, and they drop a lot of gill, so it really didn't take too long at all to earn over 8,000 gill. So now that I have the necessary amount of gill, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the knight's armor from the shop here. I'm going to pick up one of those. And I am ready to go to Mount Ordeals. Let's head to the east and get this ordeal over with and become a paladin. So let's just step out of the village. And before we get started, what I'm going to do is have Porum use her sight spell. That way we can open up the mini map. Let's switch maps here so that we can zoom in. We're currently located right here. What we're going to do is head to the east through some plains and we'll dip to the south, east, and then north. Then we'll go through some forest area. And then east from there, we will find Mount Ordeals, which is right here. So it's not too terribly far to the east of Mesidia. So let's head that direction. Well, that was a battle with two goblins and four domavoys. Now, if I run into a zoo while on the way to Mount Ordeals, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that battle for you since it's technically going to be a new monster. Well, speak of the devil, here is the zoo. You know, the zoo kind of reminds me of those big black birds that like to hang out in my front yard and treat the windshield of my truck like a commode, so I'm happy to take this thing out. Now, Cecil knocks it out with his Deathbringer sword. The zoo actually has 941 HP, but since the Deathbringer sword can KO an enemy, he was able to knock it out with just a little over 200 points of damage. So the Deathbringer is definitely a nice weapon. And as you can see, the zoos also drop 489 gil and 144 experience points. And we get new entry in the bestiary, so let's check it out here. Uh, let's scroll down here. We've actually got a couple of other entries we haven't looked at. The Baron Warrior we fought in Fabul. Its entry is number 35. There's the captain at number 36. And down the list, actually only one more down the list is the zoo at number 37. And if you're really lucky, you might win a silver apple from the zoo. That will increase a character's maximum HP a little bit, I believe. All right, let's go to Ordeals. From here, let's head south and then east and then up to the north. Palom and Porum are now level 13 after that battle. Palom learned the Thundara spell and Porum learned the Cura spell. Alright, let's make our way through some forest. We don't stay in the forest very long though. Well, Palom's Thundara spell took out all of those goblins in that battle, so... His black magic is actually pretty useful, even though he's a knothead who thinks very highly of himself. Alright, there is Mount Ordeals. We have made it. 
And in our next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance, Cecil and the twins will climb Mount Ordeals, and Cecil will attempt to become a paladin. Thank you very much for watching today's episode, everyone. This has been Vortex259. Have a great day. We'll see you again next time.